Hello, me chums. How are you doing? Hope you're all well. You find me on a pleasant Sunday afternoon, out and about. Well, not out and about so much. You can tell where I am by the bridge in the background. Thought I'd come down and give this shot a try at low tide. Not some something I've done before here. Mainly a high tide shot. Uh, just to see what, how it goes. Hopefully it's on flounder. It's still a little bit early, but I, I do want to be here when it starts. Um, had a couple of rattles straight away. So... I'll bring you back, we'll get, uh, let's get started. Oh, just looking to have a nice chill session today. I'm um, just gonna tilt you up a little bit. There you go, nice chill session today. Um, Bates of choice, mackerel, ragworm, yellow tails and I've got some frozen crab. Got both rods out as usual, just my normal uh, scratching rods. Two hook flappers on each, one up, one down, just me normal again. Just had a decent bite on the right hand rod, which has crab and mackerel. I'm gonna put my money on them going for the crab, to be honest. We are at that point in time now where the crab's going to start molting or peeling, as we say. Um, as soon as that starts, the, the, the flatfish like to dig about for them. You know, you can kind of sense that they're there. But it definitely turns the fishing around in the river time anyway. For the summer months though, although mackerel will fish all the way through. Is it going to come back? There's a plain lead on that one as well, I'm letting it drift around. When I first put the rods out, the tide was still pulling really strong, even though there's half an hour to go before bottom water. So I've got a grip lead on the left and a plain lead on the right. There's a lot of small flatfish up here at the minute. That's the only thing. Some of them are insanely small. But I'll give it a good crack like I always do. And even if we don't get anything, as I always say, it's just nice to be out. It's a really nice afternoon. So, let's see what develops there. Eh? Well, chums, we're getting rattles. I'm just going to tip that up a bit. We're getting rattles, some action. It's just bottom tide now. I was just scouring about in the rocks down there. I think someone must have had a bad day. I found this. Someone's had a bad day, they've had a nest and they've just threw it in. <laughs> I don't think it's been in there very long, but if it's yours, you're welcome to come and get it. It's down here. <laughs> I'm going to leave it on the grass. Uh, Maybe un unsalvageable, but uh, yeah. Well, I've had some bad days, but I've never chucked my gear in the river yet. There's still time though. So yeah, I'm getting rattles. I put some frozen crab on. Rattle straight away, but I think they're just them little postage stamps again. Yeah, I think there's actually a fish on the right hand rod. It's hard fishing here at low tide, there's a lot of um, rocks and stuff down the bottom, so you're dragging your gear over it. And there's some fishing line down there I just got stuck on as well, so if you do come down at low tide, be aware of it. I mean, I could really go down onto the rocks, I fancied it to be honest. But I can't bother with all my stuff. It's Sunday, I'm on a lazy fishing day. Right, I'm gonna get this one checked. La ta 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 ta. Right, we can get some rattles on this one. Let's see if there's out on. On bottom water now. Yeah, there's a little bit extra weight on there now. To drag it across some mud if it's on. Yep. It's a little postage stamp. In it comes. In it comes. Ugh. Covered mud. Hello, little one. Ugh. Well, they're certainly not of any size at the moment, that's for sure. Come on, wind's picking up as well. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm having to drag it, drag them across the mud. And, and that's on ragworm, that one. Don't know if I can get this. I think it's just there. Yep, there we go. There we go again. Clarty muddy. Tiniest little flounders. So small at the minute up here, it's unbelievable. Obviously, we're going to be waiting for the big ones. Right, I need to get this back. Uh, I don't know. Trying my best, but flounders are small at the moment. I think I'm being too impatient. Getting bites up. Take this off the camera now. Getting bites on both rods there now, chums. Little rattles on each one. Probably more postage stamps, there's been nothing substantial. Just basically using up the worm that I've got now. Just getting rid of that. They seem to be taking the worm just as much. I've got worm on both now. They're just little. It's getting a little bit breezy as well. Just keep moving the lead every now and again. Just moving out in the mud because I think it's getting sinking in and I think the bait's getting disguised a bit. I was going to change over to a pop-up rig. But as it's Sunday, I'm tired. I think if I fish down here again at low water, I think I'll try and get myself onto the rocks at the bottom. Because your gears just get full of clots. I mean, I expected it to be honest. What? Hey ho. I'm out. Tides on the flood. Got another hour. But I actually got a headache. There's so much traffic today on the roads. And I kind of overindulged on the old alcohol last night, so I'm feeling a bit rough. I don't think it's helping. <laughs> but I'm persevering and I'm out and we are fishing. I'm just gonna move that again. Seems to be getting a little bit of interest after I've moved the bait, which is normally the way we're flounders. But I just think they're very small. Well, I've already had a couple, so we know how small they are. All right, chums, we've been getting rattles on this one. On the left-hand side, nothing big. Let's give it a check. The tide's picking up now as well. Oh, right on the right-hand side. Nothing on this one, but the right-hand side's going. I've got to get the gear over these rocks, which is a pain in the bum. Right, here we go. Right. So, banging away at these, but I think, you know what? I think they're just so small. I think the baits are just too big for them, to be quite honest. I had a real problem filming today because I had a lot of people stopping the chat, which I don't mind. I like talking to people, but it's been difficult to film, so. I've not been as on the ball as I normally am, and obviously what we've been a little bit hungover. Oh, it's not the best. I tell you, starting to pull. I'm going to persevere with this plain lead for the cast. I think after that I'll probably be going to be back on the gripper. Just going to chuck this further this way. Uh, yep. I think I'll probably end up on the, the gripper next. Yeah, I think I'll be leaving the the upper upper stretch of the river for a little bit longer. I think I'll probably um, I think I'll probably come start fishing properly in in um, May. Back end of May, into June. So 
Yeah, what an electric bike's doing off move, doesn't it? Nippy. Winds changed direction as well. Suddenly. It's gone from westerly to suddenly. South, su south, southwest. It's on me back, which will help because I'll just chuck the lead up in the air and let the, the wind do the rest. Left hand rod. Don't know if you can see that. They're good old positive baits, but they're just not hooking up. They're just too small. But at least it's action. It's picked up a little bit. I'm getting baits. I hope if you've been fishing this weekend, you've done well. Getting out. Yeah, if you've been over the west coast or whatever, which everyone seems to be doing at the moment. Maybe it's an early foray into the uh, for the Pollock and that. Whatever you've been doing, drop, drop it in the comments. Let us know what you're up to, what you've been catching, what's working for you, how you've been fishing in the river, you been catching anything in the river, anything decent size, up river, towards the mouth. Let us know, let's have a bit of chat. I'll let that, I'll try and let that develop. I'll, br I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens on that one, okay? Well, that bite developed, chums. A little bit better. Lugworm, yellow tails. There we go. A little bit better. I mean, not, not astounding, but definitely better. It's worth it, it's all worth it. I've got to try and get him back now. Sorted there, all back safe and sound. Happy days. Let's see if we can get some else, eh? Oh, we've got some more fish tivity chums. There's plenty of fish fish tivity going on, but there's not many, uh, there's not much latching on going on. We've got plenty of rattles, but I think they're just all postage stamps, to be honest. Some are going on on the left, the right hand rod as well now. It's been going on, on and off. I've had to lower the, the tips down because the wind's coming across and buffing them all over. Seems we're getting a lot of baits on the yellow tails. What I've decided to do, I don't know if I mentioned it already, actually I might off. Um, instead of waiting for another 1,000 subscribers to have a giveaway, I'm going to do a giveaway at 2,500 subscribers. I've already got something pretty good to give away for, to you as well, which will be coming really handy for you for the summer. So I just need to get up there. I think I need another 300 and odd or something like that, I think. But as soon as I hit that, I promise I'll do another giveaway. It was good fun, the last one, I enjoyed it. Bites on the left-hand one now. Little rattles. It's nothing big around, like. Uh, well, chums, we're still on the fish. Getting a little bit better. Still not spectacular, but uh, again on the yellow tails there. If I can get it for you, it's very muddy. The yellow tails again. Nice little flounder there. A little bit better. Not as little as before, so they're there. We'll get this back. Where's your rush? Where's your hurry? Need you gone by the morning. Well, I've got something special for you, chums. Nice flounder on the bottom there. And a cracking smelt on the bottom hook. How good's that? Quickly get these unhooked, let you have a look. There you go. Smelts 27 centimetres. Isn't that a beauty? Smells a cucumber, really strong. Let's get this one back quickly. And another decent little flounder there. 
Excellent. Starting to come on now. Lovely. Awesome stuff. Oh, species number three. Oh, waiting. I thought we'd seen the last of these, especially this far up. Lugworm. Get him back here. Well, that's about it for today, I think. Yeah, we've passed the kind of golden hours that I like, which is the first couple hours up. Um, one thing I have discovered today, it's a very popular place for people to bring their cars down to photograph to sell. It's bizarre. I think I've watched about seven people do it today. I presume they're selling it anyway. Some of them are um, actual showrooms who are bringing the cars down, putting the uh, trade plates on, etc. But anyway, it's just something I've noticed today while I've been sitting meandering in my own thoughts uh, in the slightly mild weather that we're having which is quite nice but thank you very much for watching as always you know that I appreciate it you know the score I just enjoy doing it so if you aren't subscribed please do that would be very nice it helps me out quite a lot uh, just click the subscribe button you'll be notified of any videos that I put up in the future as well um, but until then you have a great time if you're fishing tight lines take very good care of yourselves